Hey everyone, it's Peter here with GoodyReader.com. Today we're doing a comparison, not of these two e-readers, but of the two fonts they bring to the table. So if we tap the top on both of these, and I'll note that the one on the right here is the brand new Kindle 8, Kindle Basic, Kindle Basic 8, whatever way you want to say it. This is the last generation Kindle Basic. This one came out 2015, this one came out 2016. Let's check out the font differences. What we really wanted to focus on is on the brand new Kindle, Amazon Ember. This is the only Kindle with this font. And then on the older Kindle, Bookerly, which most of the new Kindles have. A lot of people are asking, well, what are the differences between these two? Why would I, you know, why would I choose one over the other? Well, let's check it out. So we'll have them on the same font uh, size and we'll just put them side by side so you guys can just look at them like that. So, you'll see that the little peaks on all of the letters are gone. So you see on um, Bookerly, the R has the little, you know, stand. The R has the little stand there. So do the M's. The B has the little flick on the side. However, on Amazon Ember, the B is straight, H is straight, the A is straight. Everything's straight, it's really clean. You'll also notice that the spacing has been changed. So these are the exact same uh, books, exact same page, and we haven't messed with any of the margins or anything. And you see the spacing has changed on everything compared to here. I wouldn't necessarily say it's better or worse. It is just different. However, it looks like more text, yes, more text is fitting when you choose um, Amazon Ember so it looks to be more of a refined font so it is developed by Amazon and um, the Kindle basic is the one that actually has this font on it so if you guys have any other questions comments or concerns about these two let us know but for now these are the differences between Bookerly and Amazon Ember on the Kindle basics thanks for watching